So why start our own certification? The reality is people have been asking us for years, why don't you have a certification? Why don't you have a certification? And I was pretty resistant to the idea because I wasn't a big certification person. I wasn't sure how much that really mattered. But when I look at, we realized people want certifications and then we said, well, let's come up with something that's good. Let's come up with something that'll really benefit the industry as opposed to another moneymaker. This, and people will look at it, yes, we're gonna make money, yes, it's a business, but in reality, what we wanna do is put something really quality together that has a practical component, and I think that's the big key. I am an NATA certified athletic trainer, and when you do that, you have to sit for an oral practical exam, and that's what we're shooting for here, is that there'll be a practical exam as well as a written exam, and someone's gonna have to demonstrate that they're competent, that they can teach the basic fundamentals, and there isn't a certification right now that does that. I think it benefits the industry because it gives us that real component where you look and say, hey, if I hire someone who's a CFSC, a certified functional strength coach, I'm gonna know that I get someone who not only has a knowledge base, but has a movement base. I have somebody that can actually demonstrate. Because one of the things I found with some of the other, cert other certifications is I would see someone and they would say, I'm certified by blank. And then I would watch them work out and I would realize that they couldn't move, that they couldn't demonstrate, that they didn't have the fundamentals that really make you a really good trainer and make you a really good coach. We're gonna make sure, again, it's not about strength, it's not about how many, you, how many reps you can do at a certain weight, but it will be about your ability to demonstrate certain basic exercises with really good solid technique. We're not gonna reinvent the wheel, so that's a really good question. We're gonna partner with FMS and we're gonna recommend that everybody gets FMS certified. So we're not trying to replace the movement screen. The movement screen is a big part of what we do, but if you want movement screen, then you go to the movement screen course. We'll get, our members will get a discount on the movement screen. I think we're really big believers in what Gray and Lee are doing at Functional Movement Systems. In the same way, we're gonna partner with Precision Nutrition because same idea, hey, you want a nutrition certification? I'm not gonna give you 10 questions on nutrition and then say we've got a nutrition component because that's not fair. We're gonna say, you want a nutrition component? Then go to our partner, Precision Nutrition, take their course. So we're gonna really try to put this together so that we've got the best. We're taking the best from a movement screening standpoint, the best from a nutrition standpoint, and from our standpoint, the best from a strength and conditioning systems standpoint. Yes, people will, will anybody actually fail? People are going to fail. There are gonna be people that don't pass. If you can't move, if you can't demonstrate, and sometimes we've, you go to a conference and you realize, wow, I got a guy, this guy can't skip, this guy can't do a split squat, he can't do a one leg straight leg deadlift. If you can't do those things, then you're not going to pass, unfortunately, and that's the idea. I think the idea is we're gonna certify people with knowledge who can move, who you can put on the floor, and they'll be able to coach. That's the big thing. So for us, when we looked at this, the, a lot of the certification stuff that's happened in the last, I think a lot of the stuff out there is outdated. I think there are some certifications where the information is 20 years old. There's other certifications where the information is 10 years old. There's very little that are really current. And a lot of the newer ones are what I would look at as tool certifications. You get certified on how to use a certain tool. And people, again, they, they flock to these things. We're hoping in the same way people will flock to this. People will realize, wow, this is a really good certification that somebody's gonna be able to look and think, hey, I passed this, I'm qualified. I have a good knowledge base and I've shown that I can coach.